Hello, I'm a doctor working in the NHS and using homeopathy with my patients. There's a great debate raging at present concerning whether or not I should be allowed to prescribe for my patients on a standard NHS prescription. Much of this debate has been driven by a selective and ideological view of the available evidence for homeopathy within healthcare. And many of these voices are from individuals who don't uh, see patients and don't understand the challenges of treating patients with chronic illness in the face of drug interactions or drug intolerance. What is often not heard is the patient's voice and I'm going to try and redress this just by showing you some short extracts from patients treated with homeopathy. I've been very well. Um, I had three weeks pain free totally, but I may have not, that's the first three weeks I've had in seven years pain free, so I was very impressed by that. <laughs> you know, it was quite a relief. I went through that week course of three days and it immediately improved. It was really well, responded really well. I was very, very happy. It definitely was a 99% improvement, if not a 100. Um, I've noticed a marked improvement. Mm -hmm. It was um, really quite sudden. Hey, I've mm -hmm. noticed my, my hands weren't as swollen, and no, I have no pain in my neck and my shoulders, whatever. And that is unheard of for me because I'm usually in agony in the mornings. And my elbows aren't as swollen. They're still a bit painful. My knees are still a bit painful, but nothing like as painful as they have been. And I haven't had any painkillers for two weeks. I, I just took one sore face, the pains and all that sort of thing I described the last time. The day after I took uh, three different sashes and I've never had one since. The pain um, virtually subsided uh, immediately, uh, the night pain. The effect well, it was almost instantaneous as of that day. How have you been? Great. Um, the, the best I've been, basically. Um, I took the wee sashes you gave me, um, and I've never needed to use the tablets that you gave me. But it's continued better, and look at them, it's just wonderful. Mm. The skin before was all raw. I'm feeling much, much better. The headaches are nothing like what they were before. Well, I seem to be feeling a lot better, but I haven't had any more of the, the severe attacks, say, no blisters or anything in the foot again. By the Friday evening, um, all the redness had gone, and the skin felt more soft, um, it wasn't like that dry, ragged way. Um, it made a, a, a magnificent difference. My brother noticed as soon as I went home that night from work, and the next day, uh, friends commented, and the people at my work are commenting right, left, and centre. He gave me a lot of treatment, then he gave me another lot of treatment. The bleeding stopped, and the mucus stopped, and the frequency of my bowels went right the way down to about four times a day. My sinus is, is really fantastic. As soon as I took the medication, uh, from that day onwards, it, it seemed to clear. Mentally, I feel much better. But I just knew it was right the next morning. I just knew I was on the way back. Oh, the remember the first time really worked. And that today is the best it's been for months. Absolutely mm -hmm. for months. I started to feel very warm, which I was always cold before. Over the days as it went on, I started to sleep better. Still this nice warm feeling um, and, and as the days went on, um, headaches were getting better um, I think this is good for me, I said, um, uh, I feel better um, and as the days went on, I'm sure this is the treatment for me. Tremendous improvement, I, I mean, the, the, the experience the day I took those sachets was quite incredible.
These patients are reporting spontaneously and directly their experience of homeopathic medicine. Clearly that homeopathy can work is beyond question. What is more difficult to answer is how consistently does homeopathy work. The available trial evidence indicates an effect above placebo. However, what is more important for medical politicians, resourcers and clinicians to understand is that evidence-based medicine is not a panacea. The majority of these patients that you've just heard from have failed to respond adequately to an orthodox treatment. For patients like these who have often experienced unacceptable side effects or drug intolerance or forms of toxicity from orthodox treatment, there should be a route that allows them to explore an alternative model for their illness. For society and for medicine generally, we have to ask if the evidence base fails, what is available to our patients? Good integrated healthcare involves the ability to switch over to a different medical paradigm. These patients, as do all others, deserve the opportunity to experience homeopathic medicine on the NHS. We owe it to our patients not to leave them high and dry when orthodox medicine fails them.